What is up internet? Sean here, Mahalo.com. Now, if you've reached this video, that means we've already done a basic diagnosis. We found that our video card might be one of our bottlenecks. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your video card with all the options that are out there and how to sort through them to figure out one that fits you the best. So let's check it out. Let's talk about upgrading your video card. Now, there's a lot of video cards that are out there, and when it comes to selecting a video card, you pretty much have two choices. You either to go with an NVIDIA or ATI for your chipset on your video card. And when looking at video cards, you have to make sure you know what type of video card you can use on your computer via just the interface that connects to the motherboard. Some of the older styles would be like, uh, like an AGP, be a 4X, 8X, and the newer style would be PCI Express. And you want to make sure you have your video card connected to the fastest possible connection it can because there's a lot of information going in and out of the video card. Another thing too when selecting your video card you want to make sure it'll fit in your computer because not every video card is the same size. So you want to double check that to see if you have space in your computer for that video card. Now when selecting your video card, your video card is pretty much like a small computer almost these days. I mean, because your video card will have a processor or a GPU, a graphics processing unit. Also the amount of memory that's on the card, as well as the speed of the memory, the interface of the memory, and also what the card supports via DirectX 11, DirectX 9, DirectX 10. And as well as that, you also want to take a note of the ports that the video card has. Whether or not you need HDMI or DVI or VGA, the various ports so that you can connect it to your computer. Another thing too, when looking for your video card, if you're looking for the best place to get a really good hardware breakdown, go to tomshardware.com. That is the best breakdown of all your video cards. So just take note of the type of interface you can use for your video card. Then when looking for a video card, see what your price range is. And then within your price range, just look at the video card that will give you the fastest processor, the most amount of memory, and has everything you'd like inside of it via the ports and also what it supports. One other thing to take note of too is if you want to buy one video card or two depending on whether or not you can run two video cards simultaneously. For NVIDIA cards you'd use like an SLI bridge to connect the two. And you want to buy those at the same time so they're pretty much the same video card. So, you're, so one video card is not bottlenecking another video card when you're connecting them. As well as that, just like I talked about with the processor, you might have to upgrade your power supply to support your new monster video card that you get. So you want to take a look at the next video in this course where I actually show you how to install a video card yourself. Which is a pretty simple task, but a couple key things you might want to take note of. So stay tuned for that one. Alright guys, and just a reminder, this video is one step in the process of elimination to finding out why your PC is running so slow. So if you just stumbled upon this video, you might want to go to step one. And that will be in the description of this video. And remember guys, you can send any of your problems to me for viruses, spyware, and PC performance that I haven't covered in this series. Just send those to requests at mahalo.com. And remember, only you can prevent spyware, viruses, and all that bad stuff on the internet.